Hello, and welcome back to another episode of How to Make Mods for Scrap Mechanic. So, last time we took a look at how to make things paintable that aren't normally paintable, and that touched up a little bit on editing diff textures. Today we're going to be doing a follow-up on that, and we're going to be uh, we're going to be changing the diff textures of our character and give it a, ca a custom character skin. Okay, so if you haven't already, make sure you go see the first episode of How to Make Mods for Scrap Mechanic because it'll explain for you all the things that you need to prepare so that you can get started uh, making mods. We already have our mods folder open from last time. What I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, make a folder for custom logic gate and timers. So then I'm just gonna stick all these textures into that folder and that's gonna be a mod. So we're gonna open a new folder and call it um, custom character skin because that's what we're doing for today. So in this folder custom character skin um, because I'm probably gonna want to do multiple different character skins. I'm going to start another new folder inside and just uh, it doesn't really matter what you call it like as long as you know what it is so I'm gonna call this one one because that's gonna be the first character skin that we're gonna be doing. So if you have the shortcut that we created in the first episode we'll go ahead and open that up. That's our scrap mechanic folder. We're going to go into data, character, textures, character mail, char, char underscore mail, right here. And this contains all of the textures that we're going to be using for our character skins. Go ahead and copy that over to our 01 folder. And there it is. We have all of the... I'm going to uh, change my view here so I can see what it is. Okay, so here we have all uh, a copy of our, te uh, you know, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this entire folder and paste it, and I'm gonna rename it to backup. So no matter what happens, I'm always gonna have the original character files, uh, you know, ready to restore in case I screw anything up. So the process that we're going to do is uh, very similar to the first video. We're going to start with the pants for this video. Uh, we're we're going to open up GIMP. And then we're just going to drag the, the pants right on in there. As always, I'm going to duplicate the bottom layer just to have a backup copy in case I want to go back to it. I want to change the pant color. So the easiest way to do that is to go to colors, hue and saturation, and you can just change the hue to any color that you want. Usually I like a good uh, a good blue, makes it look like denim jeans. But today I'm going to go with a purple color. That seems about right, but it's a little bit too vibrant for my taste. So I'm going to desaturate it a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's, that's the look that I want for my character mod. Before we hit OK here, uh, we're going to remember these numbers here. We, we changed hue to negative 100, and we changed saturation, negative 75. So now we hit OK, and there it is. We're already done our first texture. We can do more if you really want to, like here, I guess, uh, let's go to one of the back pockets here. The, yeah, the one on the right. And we're going to uh, we're going to start a new layer real quick because um, I'm going to be drawing on top of this. I'm just going to make some text. And we'll just put a D for derf doesn't really matter what you do. I mean, you can go you can go nuts with this stuff and uh, get creative. So, but for the the sake of this video, I'm just going to be 
putting a D on the back pocket here. Just make it a good size. There we go. That seems pretty good. Now, the text layer, we want to uh, discard the text information. Discarding the text information changes it to a regular layer, where it's like as if we use the, the paintbrush or the pencil tool and we just made this uh, colors on screen. So now that we have this regular layer, we're going to take the, the rotating tool and we're going to rotate the texture just so that it makes uh, so it makes more sense. Like it looks like it's uh, actually on the the pocket itself. And we're just going to move it into place so it's right in the middle. There we go. There you go. Pretty simple. I'm going to I'm going to go back to this D for a second right here. And I want to change the opacity. Huh. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, opacity 25%. So it's, uh, it could pass off as like some kind of stitching on the back pocket or a stain or something. That's the pants that I'm going to go with. So you can go ahead and overwrite the image because it's our working copy in the mods folder. It's not the actual copy on the left, set, uh, left side here. So we're just going to go ahead and overwrite. And we see the image over there updated. Perfect. Uh, now we're just going to save, save as. So we can save our .xcf file. So that if we ever want to, uh, let's just close this. GIMP is going to stay open. That's good. That's what we want. We'll just leave it here for now. So here's our XCF file. We can always come back to the pants if we ever need to and make any adjustments or possibly additions. So the next thing we want to do is go straight to the chest. And the reason why that is, is because you'll see it in a minute. Here, this orange section that's the top part of the overalls so we need to do the same thing that we did uh, for the pants we need to do that for the top of the overalls but not for anything else so first thing we're gonna do of course is duplicate the layer so we have a backup and in this new layer we are going to select uh, we're gonna use this free select tool that looks like a little lasso and we're going to select just around the overalls. Now you might notice I'm not being uh, I'm not being too too careful about how I'm selecting it and that's because I don't actually need to be because there's a lot of extra room in this texture. All this uh, extra brown spots, uh, brown color around everything, there's nothing that's actually um, using that section of the texture, so it's okay if I select a little extra. So now, I have the overalls selected. With the overalls selected, I want to go to Colors, Hue and Saturation, and we're going to do the same things that we did for the, the bottom of the pants. We're going to do that for the top part. So it was negative... Uh, negative 100 for hue and negative 75 for saturation and just like that we have the same purple color so we click OK and there you go now we're gonna do the same process but for the rest of the image uh, let's see first we're gonna select none and if uh, if at any point you want to you can always just uh, duplicate the current layer that you're working on so you always have a backup copy and then you start working on the new copy. So, for the new copy, we're gonna we're going to select all of this red part. See, this looks like the back of the jacket without the sleeves. This part here looks like the top, uh, the sleeves like all rolled up. 
and this part here looks like the the inside of the top of the jacket and this part here looks like the underside of the bottom of the jacket so let's um, do the same thing as last time we're gonna take the free select tool and we're gonna select just the parts that we want to edit You, don't, you want to be careful not to um, select any of the areas of textures that are actually used by other things. But it's okay, we don't have to be too careful. Just like that. There we go. And there we go. We selected the entire jacket. So now with this jacket, uh, we can do anything that we want with it. So I think I'm going to give it a new color. Uh, I'm going to change the hue so that it's green. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the shade of green that I want. And, uh, I mean that, that's all the changes that I want to do for now. So I'll just leave it at that. And we're almost done with the, the chest, so we'll deselect, uh, just select none. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to we're, we're gonna start a new layer real quick. And then we're going to put an image on the shirt. And as we know, the shirt is a, a little bit covered up by the, the overall and stuff. So to make it look like a real shirt, we're going to only put half of the the image on the shirt here so once you have the image you can just uh, click and drag it onto if you drag it onto the layers here it'll center it in the middle of the image so we're gonna take our new image and bring it up to the top so that we can see it and this is the logo that I'm gonna be putting on the t on the uh, t-shirt here the undershirt so uh, we want to scale this down because it's way too big to about, uh, ab about that size, maybe, uh, there we go, and we're going to put it right about here like this, so that it looks like it's in the center of the shirt. Okay, and there we have it. Our chest texture is done so we go ahead and overwrite uh, one thing to note with the character textures it's a little bit different than the logic gates and timer stuff that we did last video this time all of the textures are in a PNG format so you got to make sure if you're saving your textures it has to be in the same format so we just save as to get the dot XCF just in case we want to come back to this and then we exit out of this so we're done, we're done with that.